Welcome back. New tonight, people come from all over the world, of course, to enjoy South Florida beaches. But now, concern about what may be hiding in the sand, hazards to humans and sea life. A massive cleanup is underway. Chief Investigator Michelle Gillen hit the beach to find answers. We'd walk around and see pieces, and we picked up little pieces of glass and nails. Isn't that rather frightening? Yeah, it was scary because there's kids that live down here, and, and no one knew about it. <laughs> These days, vacationers and residents frolicking on Miami Beach, just yards from bulldozers, backholes, and mechanical sand sifters. Convoys of dump trucks streaming across 53rd to 59th Street in a big hurry to clean, replace, and swap out sand. All because of this. Shards of glass, rusted nails, plastic and plaster, construction debris of all sorts. After a blanket of sand was donated and deposited here over a year ago. I don't think there was oversight as to what they were putting on our sand. Outraging residents like Miriam Gordis. And outrage to the city of Miami Beach as well. Elizabeth Wheaton, Director of Environment and Sustainability. This seems like it was a pretty big mistake. Yeah, um, definitely not what we would like to have happen when we do beach renourishment and beach replenishment projects. The epicenter of this complicated cleanup, the excavation of this Surfside property, cleared for the erection of the condominium Chateau Fendi. By Florida law, excavated sand, a byproduct of booming condo development, cannot be thrown out, but must be cleaned, sifted, and essentially donated back to the beach, given beach erosion and the need for more sand. We realized when it started to rain that the, the debris would uh, be coming up. While stunning sand is the alluring face of Miami Beach, the beaches are owned by the state of Florida, which controls the depositing and replenishment of sand here. So how did the debris end up in the sand in the first place? Finding an answer to that question is nearly impossible. Those close to the matter either say they don't know or are not willing to tell us. We reached out to the developer who just late today agreed to an interview on Wednesday. We also reached out to Coastal Construction. They declined our interview request, but provided a statement that reads in part, the sifting process did not produce the desired results. We reached out to the state of Florida and did meet up with Christian White, the very state inspector who records show was assigned the case of contaminated sand cleanup. But can you tell me if you know that that sand had ever been sifted? I, I'm not, I can't speak on behalf of the Coast Guard Director. I don't want to speak on behalf of the contractor. I'm asking you to speak on behalf of the state. Sorry, do you have the number of our... Uh, yeah. She directed us to the Tallahassee press office. Second to the state, Miami-Dade County has auxiliary responsibility for these beaches. Jamie Monty of the county's environmental resource management is investigating and says the focus now is on trying to look into what exactly occurred, where did the breakdown occur, how did this happen, um, so that we can take steps to prevent it in the future. This Wednesday, the city of Miami Beach will be introducing a resolution calling for better quality controls on the sand the state allows to be put on Miami Beach. City leaders tell us no taxpayer dollars are being used for the cleanup. The state still hasn't explained exactly how the problem happened. A final inspection of the new sand is expected soon.